all right so we're going to have a little bit of a look-see at the new season of rhythm and that was the opening scene you just saw and i am on an alternate account so i don't know really what i'll find here okay i have a before it leaves relive the traveling spirits memories in the world of sky and become its friend so that's interesting there's a lot of changes that are coming along with the season of rhythm and one of them is having our traveling spirits from previous Oh, I thought it would give me a help, but maybe not until I actually go to find the spirit. Um, so spirits from previous seasons will come back, and they'll come back once every weekend. Um, so they'll come back every weekend, and you'll have two days to collect the stuff inside of it. But first, you've got to go find it in the world, wherever it is located. Now, if you have the emote or the expression already, this map will be open, and you'll be able to just look at the map and buy the stuff from it if you actually got the expression but didn't complete everything inside of it and I assume even if you did complete everything inside of it you'll see it and that you've completed it but so now we could go to aisle this one's an aisle it doesn't actually tell you where it is it just tells you to go find it so you can always use the wiki the wiki has all of the um, things another thing and this just did it there's a return shrine that's new and the return shrine takes the place of in the past when you entered a portal and then you went to a, like the last area, the temple or the place before the temple. If you came back home and then went back to, say, prairie, if you were in the prairie temple and you came back home and went back to prayer, you'd go back to the prairie temple. Now you won't. Now, every time you go through a portal, you will go to the beginning area of the level, so the social space of the level. You will no longer go to the last place left off. This is going to be a really good thing because if you're with people who have been in different places in the same level, which has happened to me on stream many, many times, where um, somebody was in the last area of Wasteland, then we go to Wasteland to do the quests and we disconnect because I'm at the beginning of Wasteland and they're at the end. That will not happen anymore. Instead, if you want to resume where you left off last time you were in the game, you will sit right here and it will ask you if you want to go back to where you left off. This way it's very clear that you're going back to where you left off and you will no longer disconnect from friends who left off in different places in the level that you're going to. Um, so the return shrine, the visiting spirit from a previous season, and then we have the season of rhythm itself. And for that, we have a new constellation, and that you know the seasonal constellation always shows up here. And we're going to have receive the ultimate gift from Grandma to watch the season finale here. So it tells you very clearly what that center um, star is. And the ones on the outside find the spirit in wasteland. So this is how you find out where the spirits are. Find the spirit in vault. Find the spirit in valley of triumph. Now for the beta, which I'm in right now, you're going to get all of the spirits available at once. So I could go get any one of them right now. In the live version, which comes out on January 23rd, you will get one per week, just like in the season of belonging. And this will tell you when those are going to be. So the first week you'll go in here and tap and one of them will say, find the spirit in whatever level. I don't know what level it'll be. And the other stars will say 14 days, 21 days, whatever the days, okay, for that one. Uh, so this is where you'll have your hint as to where to go to find the current seasons, the season of rhythms, spirits. Another thing I want to cover in this video is... Oh, is the adventure pass, but I'll get there in a second. Now we have a little interesting way of uh, completing the season, which you need the adventure pass for, but if you go to this guy, you can see we have two levels of things to unlock. This guy is two seasonal hearts. I assume this one will be four. So you get two ultimate rewards this season. You get a mask, which is what the spirit is wearing. You can barely see it. Black mask with the things underneath the eyes. And you get the seasonal winter piano. Um, this piano is the same one that was available in the winter uh, musician pack. The winter musician pack is going to go away. It will be deleted. And anybody who had already bought the winter musician pack will get the adventure pass for this season for free. Also, anybody who has or completed the season in limited live version will get the adventure pass for the season for free. I don't know if that applies to people who didn't buy the adventure pass in limited live. 
but you'll see when you start the season whether you got it or not. I, I don't know how they're going to handle those people who did not buy the Adventure Pass, so did not complete the season in a Limited Life. But it's very clear, if you did complete the season in Limited Life, you will get the Adventure Pass for free. If you bought the Winter Musician Pack, you will get the Adventure Pass for free. Um, so that's how we finish that. And now the other thing, you have your normal quests, just like always, and it tells you how many hours you have left to complete them. And then the other thing we will do is tap the little button here for the Adventure Pass. Now something I've seen a couple of comments about is, I feel cheated because TGC said we get everything immediately in the Adventure Pass, and we don't. Well, no, they never said that, that I recall. Um, you could, some of the text may have been misleading or maybe not clear, but when you buy the Adventure Pass, you get the opportunity to collect every single thing in the season, rather than just half of it. For non-Adventure Pass holders, you only get half of the cosmetics that are available. Adventure Pass holders get everything plus the ultimate rewards. So here's our Adventure Pass for the Season of Rhythm. Um, everyone can complete the se can play the Season of Rhythm for free. Adventure Pass owners get these extra things. Twice the rewards to earn, um, which is uh, twice the cosmetics and um, blessings. Free daily season candle. 20 season candles. Again, that 20 season candles only goes if you buy, if you buy either one of these packs, either the individual or the one for you and two friends. Um, the, if you gift two friends, those two friends will not get the 20 bonus candles, but they'll get everything else. And the Pendant of Rhythm, which is the little winter pendant. Um, so pass individual pack for you and two friends means you plus 20 candles and one, two friends. So two other people besides you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'm going to go ahead and buy the pass. But, and here's other, some of the cosmetics you can get. It tells you what to do. Give the seasonal candles to spirits to unlock the basic rewards. Adventure Pass owners get an exclusive reward with each unlock, which is up the map, just like last season and every other season. Six spirits to find. And here it tells you one released each week. Like I said, they will be weekly, whereas in beta we get them all at once just because we only have, like I say, nine days. Um, then you can also, there's a how to play guide on, the, on, their, on their site. And of course, we'll also have a wiki page for all this. I'm going to go ahead and buy my pass. there's everything and of course now I have the uh, ice makes you float <laughs> floaty so now I can wear my pendant and I have my adventure pass pendant now something else I want to look at here is the different spirits because all your spirits look a little bit different now and I'm gonna look in here to see you get your daily candle there's your return shrine daily candle just like always. Um, the daily candles are always going to be orange. Uh, the daily seasonal candles, or the seasonal candles are always going to be orange. Uh, they want to make that consistent. So it's very clear, which I like. The um, spirits also glow orange, whereas the normal spirits glow blue. So like I said, in beta, I can find any spirit I want. Now, I'm going to put this in here, but it might not go into live. And that is that right now, our home space spirit or grandma as they're calling her is sitting in front of the portal that coincidentally has the big bonus candles the big bonus um, big candle piles of normal regular candles but also that's this portal that has the seasonal candle bunches so the little seasonal candle bunches that you can collect that make up to one seasonal candle in live um, in beta it's we get a bunch more but that's because it's the shortened season. Um, but in live, you'll get that one, one more candle for collecting the candles in the area. It's always in the area where that seasonal spirit is. However, if you look at your quests, your quests are in Valley. And this is different than what it was in Season of Belonging, where we had the candles and the quests in the same place. This may not move into live. They may fix it. It may be a bug. I don't know. But for right now, and just be aware, that might be what happens. Um, so if we go on to Valley, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. So here I'm going to try to show you what each spirit looks like. So each, whether it's a, there's a 
uncollected spirit and regular spirit. There's an uncollected seasonal spirit. And there's an uncollected revisiting spirit. So the spirit to revisit is our hands on hips, which it always has been in Valley. There's a meditation spot for the quest as well. But you can see our revisit spirit is glowing blue. And that's how you know it's a collectible spirit, because it's glowing. It has the little sun dog halo over around it. So this is my revisit spirit. So that's a revisit spirit. Relive the spirit's memory. So next we will do a brand new seasonal spirit. be in this tunnel here if I can see and here you can see it's glowing orange so same color as the candle seasonal candles glowing orange you can barely see the glow but it's there you hear the whole everything is glowing orange just tells you it's a seasonal spirit and that one is orange It's our juggle remote, and unlike the original winter season, we actually get her pants. She actually was just wearing white pants in the original season. Okay, now you see, if I go back here, you can see it just shows dark, so it's un uncollectible again. And now if I go on to Citadel, so Citadel has a emote that I have not collected yet on this account. And I'm not going to collect it, but I'm just going to show what it looks like. A completely uncollected spirit. So I've not collected the Manticall on this. So if I go over here where the Manticall resides, I will see a glowing blue. So your uncollected spirits and your revisit spirits look the same. Okay, so he's uncollected. Now if I go to one where I have collected it and it's not a relive, I'm gonna run into Prairie. Here's what a collected spirit looks like. So he's completely gray and you can't do anything with him. And you will t will tell you, you have already experienced the spirit's memories. You may bring friends who haven't to relive it together. The friend will have to actually start the process. He will still light you though. Or uh, he will still, yeah, he'll still give you light. Um, recharge your cape. But uh, you can't do it. Now, the other person will have to start it and then you can help them get it. I'm curious. We now have a another exit from this. Interesting. I never, I just noticed that. That's new. Uh, so another thing that has changed is the glow spell, but I don't have any glow spells here on this account, so I can't show it. Um, but it is in my stream where the glow spell, so try it. If you have a glow spell, try it. It's quite different. Uh, much more easy on the eyes. Um, Prairie has, again, like, it has changed a little bit. There was that change, that little extra entry into this hive thingy. Looks like a beehive to me. Um, but also the star, the winged light has moved. I think it actually moved to the other. Yeah, it must have moved to the other one. So the, the um, cliff thingy has disappeared. This has been smoothed out, evened out. So now that prairie is all flattened out, the star child or the winged light that was at the entrance to nest, which was over here when there was a little cliff thingy, is now at the exit to villages, the bell towers, um, up on the ascent here. So it's hard to see because I've already collected it, but he's right here. So this is the new location of this winged light is actually up here. 
So that's another thing that's changed in this, in this uh, update. Now when you go back home, you will have immediate access to all of your spirit um, cosmetic maps that you've collected. So here's where you can buy, spend your seasonal candles, um, and also, as always, you... This is where you turn in your uh, quests so that you can get your candles for the quest. Um, normal will be obviously six per day for an adventure pass holder, five per day for a non-adventure pass holder. Uh, if you complete all of the quests, plus the one candle you can get for collecting in the area of the spirit of the day, and then the four you can get, or I'm sorry, then the one daily candle for the adventure pass holders is the other to make six for the adventure pass. Um, and like I said, if you go to if you go back to Prairie, I can go back to my return shrine and show you how, show you how this works. I was just in caves, to where I left off. So if I resume, I'll go to caves. So I ran in there to see if anything had changed. I didn't notice anything. So there I am there. Go back home. And previously, if I went back to Prairie through the portal, I would come back here as well. But now, instead, if it works right, I will go back to the beginning and reset. Again, reset my level. So there I go to the beginning. I love that change. That's my favorite change of the whole thing. Oh, I was also going to show going and finding that spirit in aisle. I wonder if that looks any different. So I'm going to go and look for this spirit in aisle, which should be in aisle somewhere, hopefully where he was for the season. Gratitude. Gratitude was over there to the right. Um, Again, all of the seasons will be on the wiki, so you'll be able to look back at the wiki and say, okay, this is where this, this spirit was, because the videos will be there. So, you know, the video guides to save you some time finding these guys. You're going to want to save, you can see it right there, it's red or orange. Um, you're going to want to save your candles and ascended candles, because that's what the cost is for these things. It looks a little more red than orange, but... This is definitely the seasonal one, the gratitude one. You can tell by the cosmetics. I'm going to go find the, oh yeah, he's a carry. I'm going to go find the uh, seasonal one here for the light uh, rhythm. This one is much more tedious than hard. Although on these carry quests, companions can make everything much harder than it should be. <laughs> I remember watching a live stream. And TGC was saying about how, you know, doing this with friends is going to make it faster. And I'm like, uh, maybe in your ideal little world there, buddy. But in reality, companions make this much slower. There's TGC ideal. And then there's the way things actually work in the game. So, yay, I have a... A little sassy stance now. I don't think I'll have to go to the temple. I don't think. And then the current season guy is right there. And yep, he does look the same. Still a orange or gold. They probably probably want to change that. Anyway, that's what it looks like right now. So maybe they'll change that because having them both the orange would be a little confusing as to which one's which. This is current season. So the new ones I just picked up. Dance. And juggle. So some of these cosmetics have changed, um, been cleaned up a bit, updated, and there are new cosmetics as well that are, were not in the original winter season. Uh, but all of the emotes, all the expressions are the same. So now if I go back home, I'm pretty sure I don't have to sit at the temple at the cutscene anymore like you used to.
So now if I go to this, I will have all of these. And then if I go over here, this spirit appears now down here and I have her map. Let's say 15 hours left. And now if I go here, I will see a guide for how this works. So it's one per weekend. So I guess Friday night probably arrives and then through Sunday. 15 hours left as of now is, yeah, till midnight or midnight Pacific time. So um, that's how that works. And of course, you know, you'll have just one somewhere in the world that you'll find. I do think they ought to change the color of that one, though, to indicate that it's not the current season. Um, so that's what you've got. You've got a new glow spell, which I don't have any glow spells, so, so can't show it. You've got a new return shrine where the portals go to the beginning of the level all the time. And the return shrine takes you where you left off, wherever that would be. You've got the visiting previous season spirits, which will give you the opportunity to get stuff that you missed the first time around, um, or if you started after. Uh, but again, you wanna save candles and ascended candles, or they're calling them prestige candles here, but I'm not sure that name is gonna stick. So I have five candles for the blessing. It's a shrink spell naturally. Um, 25 candles for the hat. That's a lot of candles. A lot of candles. Um, three candles for a heart. So there's another opportunity to get another heart. So eight candles to get a heart. Um, two ascended candles or prestige candles. And then I'm not sure how much these will cost because I don't have I don't have ascended candles to spend. Uh, so that's that. Um, You've got a slightly different way the season works. Adventure Pass works the same way. We still have seasonal hearts, uh, which you need to spend to open this and then that. So you'll have the winter piano is the ultimate ultimate and the mask is a, another ultimate. Um, some updates to Prairie, moving a couple of stars just a little bit, or, sorry, a couple of winged light just a little bit. Uh, we have an icy home area. And I'm sure I'm missing something. Um, we, all of the spirits are exactly where they were in the previous winter season. So if you've already done a winter season, you know exactly where everything is. Um, they're slightly different. The forest is a carry. The wasteland is a carry, of course. But I think the rest of them, the vault was a carry. And then the other three are regular chase emotes. One other thing that has been added, and right now it is in the whale call, which is not where it's going to stay. I'm not sure where it's going to be when it goes live. If it goes live, it may not go live yet, but uh, it sounds like it will because it is in their notes. But right now it is in the whale call. You're going to see this and freak out. I don't have the whale call open right here, but it's up at the top of the whale call. And if you look at a wiki page, I think this is the, I don't have any seasonal candles to spend. I think this is the top, and that's a music sheet. So here you see something here. But what that is, is an invisible cape. So what you saw in the whale call a second ago, that's this cape, which is an invisible cape. So you're still going to have a cape, because you can see my my stars there on it, sort of. <laughs> um, but it's invisible. Obviously, you have to have a cape so that you can fly, but it's an invisible cape. So this is right now supposedly 999 hearts after apparently 99 ascended candles to open the node. That's, that's not going to stay in well call. I don't know where it's going to be, but it just won't stay in well call. Um, but it sounds like it will be introduced to the live version of the game. So the people who are going to be getting that first are people who have been playing since the limited live and have bazillions of hearts um, 
because they benefited from different heart, uh, the way hearts work differently in the beginning of the, the beta and the beginning of the limited life. So people ended up with a lot of extra hearts. I mean, heck, if, if stuff had carried over from the beta, I'd probably have 700 hearts now. Um, so, but they didn't. <laughs> and that's me. Um, there are other people who were much more uh, benefited and much more well-off. So that's the only cosmetic addition to the game. You'll notice that glowing mask thing is not added. Okay, another change is that you no longer see previews of cosmetics any emotes you don't have. So for ex and you also don't see them for the season. So for example, here in the, the leggings, I have all of these spirits, so I can try on the pants, the leggings. But if I go to the capes, I don't have these spirits. This one is the wasteland, so there's a spirit in wasteland I don't have. I'm not sure which one, but there, there must be a spirit in wasteland I don't have. And valley, I don't have. And I think that's manticall that I don't have. Oh, I also don't have the um, hands on or the handstand. And wasteland, there must be the the um, the stance I don't have, so I must be missing that stance. So that must be the green cape because I don't see the green cape here. The green cape is that stance. I also don't see the red. Oh, well, that's the red cape. Um, pink cape must be the pink cape. Uh, so again, the closet works just a little bit differently now. Honestly, that could have been the way it was originally. I'm not sure. Um, I just never noticed not having things that I hadn't collected yet. So I hope that's helpful somewhat. Um, it's going to be an exciting season. A lot of people are very excited for this one because it brings back expressions and cosmetics we've seen other people wearing that we couldn't get. So, uh, and of course, for those of us in the previous beta, the old beta, uh, we get stuff we used to have <laughs> again that we kind of miss, especially expressions. So I hope that's helpful. Um, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.